Welcome back to K-Pop RC. Today, we're diving into the world of big prints with the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max. Whew. This piece of a printer is built for size, and today, we're gonna be testing it with two massive prints. The RS200 drift chassis plate and the towering M-Jet Super Sprint hull. These prints are bigger, taller, and more ambitious than anything I have ever printed on any one of my other printers. Let's see if the Neptune is up for the challenge. Oh. Elegoo Neptune 4 Max is built for one damn thing. It's size, it is massive. The 420 by 420 by 500 millimeter build volume means it can handle projects that smaller printers just can't. Look at the size of the print bed. frame is all metal, giving it the stability needed for taller prints like the Super Sprint hull. It ensures the gantry stays solid even with prints that push the vertical limits. Elegoo didn't just focus on size, they also added convenience. I got 90s telephone vibes, but uh, it's pretty sick. You know, it's pretty sick having a screen. <laughs> Hello? Before we start printing, leveling is critical especially when printing super large models. The Neptune 4 Max, it has a massive print surface, which requires uh, diligence when bed leveling. Make sure to preheat everything before you do any manual adjustments or even any automatic adjustments. Just make sure everything is as hot as it would be if it were printing. It's a massive bed and uh, you know, it's gonna be difficult for it to keep and maintain its level. Uh, so you're gonna have to just be very careful and make sure that everything is as it should be. It won't let you down. Heed to this warning. If you leave any of the manufacturing oils within this textured plate, you're gonna have an awful time with adhesion. I have never used a glue stick, ever. There's your tip. All right. The Neptune features a dual gear direct drive extruder, which ensures consistent flow, even with tricky materials. That's perfect for the large STLs we're tackling today. With everything dialed in, it's time to slice and print. First up is the RS200 drift chassis plate. It's a simple design, but it's always been too long for my smaller printers. But with the Neptune, we can manage to print this thing all in one go. In fact, we can print two, two chassis all at the same time, which is freaking nutty. You can see here, this is where I've usually had to split the chassis and uh, screw them together. Not anymore, not anymore, let's print. Let's print the chassis. Starting strong, the Neptune PEI coated bed ensures perfect adhesion and the direct drive extruder is keeping the filament flow smooth. No warping, no issues. I don't mind the crazy brim. It's printing just clean and precise layers, which is fantastic. Now for the big one, the M-Jet Super Sprint Hull at 380 millimeters tall. This STL is massive. Printing it in just one piece isn't just for looks, it's also stronger and eliminates weak points. Big hole, big hole. You can see right here, this is where the original Super Sprint Hull uh, split. Now it actually uh, is in three pieces, but we're gonna print it all in one piece. 
Yes. The Neptune's large bed and dual Z axis are already proving their worth. The first layers are perfect and as it builds up, the sturdy frame keeps everything aligned. This is where the printer's engineering really shines. Who knew a bed slinger could actually print this size? Midway through, the RS200 chassis is coming along beautifully clean layers and no stringing. Meanwhile, the Super Sprint hull is towering above the build plate and the Neptune's precision hasn't skipped a beat. Both prints are making the most of the printer's size and stability. Yo, look at the size of this. Look, the RS200 chassis is done and it's flawless. For a budget-friendly printer that outclasses all my others in build volume, the Neptune 4 Max performs exceptionally well. Large build plates on FDM printers usually struggle with consistency in maintaining a level surface on a bed that shifts with temperature changes. It can be really tricky, but this machine handles it like a pro. Plus, the ability to print two chassis at once makes any kind of manual leveling effort totally, totally worth it. Check it out, this is the Super Sprint Hall, all 380 millimeters of it. Printed all in one solid piece, the smooth finish and durability of PLA are exactly what we were looking for. With bed slinger printers, large beds can lead to slight layer changes, slight layer shifting on taller prints, and the Neptune is definitely not immune to this. But honestly, it's not a deal breaker for me. This is the first print that this printer has ever done. Uh, other than calibrating at the factory, well, this is out of the box, we put it together, and I printed this full hull. All in one. That's so sick. Being able to print something this massive in a single go is a total game changer. A 24 hour print. That means I can have full hulls anytime I need them. And that's fantastic. From the RS200 chassis to the towering Super Sprint hull, this printer crushed. If you're into RC builds or large scale models, this machine definitely deserves a spot in your lineup. Don't forget to check out my affiliate link below if you want one of these beasts. And don't forget to subscribe to K-Pop RC. Man, pretty crazy. And I'm definitely be printing big shit. Anyway, K-Pop 